hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, palsy or cerebral palsy you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day so this is a long topic and uh, uh, i will make a uh, few videos about this like separately like causes and uh, symptoms signs diagnosis and treatment options you know so this video will be about uh, just to explain or to understand what is cerebral palsy you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day you know the cerebral palsy which is uh, more commonly known as cp uh, uh, it's an uh, abnormality of the motor function and uh, postural uh, tone that is acquired at an early age, uh, even before birth, you know. And uh, the signs and the symptoms of the cerebral palsy usually show in the first year of the life, you know. And uh, uh, this abnormality in the motor system is the result of the brain lesions, and uh, uh, that are uh, like uh, non-progressive, you know. And the motor system of the body provides the ability to move and control uh, the movements. And uh, a brain lesion uh, is any abnormality of the brain uh, structures and uh, other functions, you know. And uh, non-progressive means that uh, the lesion does not produce ongoing degeneration of the brain. And it is also uh, implies that the brain lesion is the result of uh, uh, one-time brain injury and uh, uh, will not occur again you know now whatever the brain damage uh, that occurred at the time of injury is uh, uh, the extent of damage for the rest of the child's life in fact you know and uh, the cerebral palsy affects approximately one to three out of every thousand children so one to three in thousand which is quite rare you know and uh, uh, it's much higher in the infants born with uh, very low uh, birth weight, you know, and uh, the premature infants as well. Now, the new treatment methods uh, that resulted in an increased survival rate of the low birth uh, child and the premature infants actually result in an overall increase in the number of children uh, with the cerebral palsy, you know. And the new techniques uh, did not change the rate of cerebral palsy in children born full term and uh, with uh, the normal weight you know so that was uh, uh, the cerebral palsy you know so in the next video i will explain what are the causes of cerebral palsy so keep watching thank you and goodbye